Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already don't forget to sub to the channel and follow us on Instagram at iClone3D and I've got a really cool tutorial today I'm going to show you how to actually export any scene from Daz and bring that straight into iClone and it's a really simple process so we're just going to load up Daz as you can see down here I've got my Daz and that should load up pretty quick. Daz is actually quite fast at loading compared to iClone, as you can see there. Um, so in here, I'm gonna just load up a scene I've got. So I'm just gonna go into my environments and in my architecture tab, I've got a couple of different scenes here. So we're gonna try the Fugazi scene and I'll just open this talk show here and we can see we've got that scene here. And if I just double click that, that will open up. So this is a kind of radio scene um, where you can kind of, you know, have a radio show going on, as you can see here. Um, pretty cool scene, pretty cool design. And, you know, it looks really cool. And I'm gonna show you how we can bring this out of Daz and we can get that straight into iClone 8. So we can just go up here to file. And if we just come down to export here, uh, and that's going to bring up a couple of options where we can export this to. So I'm just going to save it as radio, radio show. And we'll just hit save. And when you hit save, it's going to bring up this little box here. Now, basically, you know, not don't get confused with all of these kind of check boxes. If you just copy the exact same settings as you can see in front of you. So you'll have the no hidden figures and props selected and you can turn off animations if you wish. You know, I usually leave it on for when I'm exporting characters if I am, but you can turn that off and it will leave the locks, limits and the morphs and we'll leave the rest as it is. Again, merging clothing into figures, it's not a character we're exporting, so you can turn that off as well. But uh, really the main important one is the FBX 2012 binary. You wanna make sure that's set to that. And then you can just hit accept and that's gonna begin exporting that out for you. And you can see very quickly that's done already. So if I go back to my uh, desktop here, you can see I've got the radio show saved out. So I'm just going to close down iClone 8 and I'm just going to drag that into iClone 8. Now, so you can see this FBX, I'm just dragging it straight and dropping it and you'll see that begin to load up. So it may take a minute, so just bear with it. Uh, but once that's loaded, it will come in perfectly. Now it gives you the option to break down the object. Uh, it's got 63 different meshes. You can break that up into sub props, I'd hit yes. And that means you can just individually move the props around in the scene. So it's really cool to always bring it in as a sub prop. Now that's gonna take a few seconds, but as you can see, that's loaded in. And if I just zoom in, you'll see we can now scroll around this nice little room. And I'm just gonna go up to my camera here and I'm just gonna set it to 20 millimeters just so we can get a nice look of that. But as you can see guys, it comes in perfectly and you know, really easy, really simple to do. And again, we can individually select the different props as you can see, cause we did bring it in uh, as sub props and we can then, you know, move these around and you know, get them kind of positioned to wherever we like in the scene. And you know, that's pretty much it guys, how to bring in how to bring in 3D scenes from Daz straight into iClone 8. So, you know, you can see how quick it is. It does, doesn't take very long. I've done it all in real time. Really hope it helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial. 